Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to part two of the mid-century style modern walnut desk I'm working on. So if you watched part one, you saw that we took the walnut slabs and we cut off the live edge on those and then we went over to our planer and we planed down both sides so that they are flat and got rid of any twists or warping in the boards. And now we need to head over to our jointer and joint the edges and then over to our table saw where we're gonna rip those boards down into quarter inch thick strips. So let's get going. All right, so now that we just jointed this one edge, we're gonna go over to our table saw and we're gonna run this jointed edge along the table saw fence and that's gonna rip this other side perfectly straight. Get it? Got it? Good. So now that these boards have both edges jointed and straight, I'm going to set my table saw fence to rip these boards into quarter inch strips. And once these have been ripped into those quarter inch strips, I'm going to take a rubber band and I'm going to bundle them all together. I'm going to keep the boards separate and I'll explain why later on. So any of you woodworkers out there who don't have a micro jig gripper, I suggest you go out and get one. This thing could literally save your fingers. I absolutely love this. It's so safe to use on the table saw and there's so many accessories that you can put on this. I just actually put on this backstop here so when I'm sliding my piece of wood it grabs on the backstop and helps it slide through the table saw and yeah this thing has paid for itself time and time again. I love this thing. <laughs> Alright guys, so I have all those boards ripped down into those quarter inch strips and as I said before, I was going to rubber band them all together to keep them separate and I'll show you why I went ahead and did that. Okay, so let me explain how I'm going to go about laying these uh, pieces of wood here out on the top. So if I were to take, you know, a piece of wood from one slab and then take another piece from another slab, they're different thicknesses. And when I lay the wood across the tabletop, if I were to take different pieces of wood, you would see that I get stuck with these gaps. And then trying to fix the gap, you know, you're just going to keep ending up with other gaps. And it's just going to make the table a lot harder to put together. 
So if I'm taking from the same pile of wood, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and be able to match these up and I know that these thicknesses are the same. It's just gonna make the process of laying out this tabletop a lot more quick and I won't have to worry about any of those crazy gaps. Okay, so let me go ahead and explain this real fast. No, you did not miss an episode of the build. I built the desk portion of this uh, about uh, a couple of weeks ago and I wasn't sure if I was gonna actually film this build so I didn't film me building it. But basically all this is uh, just three quarter inch plywood and that's gonna be a drawer, that's gonna be a cubby, and then that's gonna be the second drawer. And I mean, really this is a simple put together uh, plywood box. And what I'm gonna be doing is taking the walnut strips that I have here and I'm gonna be covering the whole top with the walnut and also the sides. And then the two drawers are going to be live edge drawers that I actually take from that same walnut that was milled down from the tree. That's going to look spectacular. I'm excited. So, yeah, just a simple box. Um, nothing too special about it. Three quarter inch plywood, just pine. And, yep, the walnut's going to be covering it all. So, now what we need to do is we actually need to take this walnut that we cut and we're going to take it over to our table saw and with our table saw sled we need to cut these edges so they're perfectly 90 degrees so that when we go ahead and butt these up together we know that they're going to be perfectly straight so let's go do that now Alright guys, I'm going to call it a night. It's been a lot of fun. I cannot wait to continue this build. Join me on episode 3 where I'm going to start putting the walnut on the desk. Also, if you like what you're seeing, please give a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments below if there's anything I can change or if there's other things you'd like to see from me. Also, if you go over to my Instagram, at Black Timber Company, the link is down in the notes. You can follow me there and see behind the scenes footage and also other projects I'm currently working on. And we will catch you next time.